Here we're going to be looking at capital lease with a bargain purchase option. And what we have to do here is set up a lease amortization schedule. And we're going to be using the effective interest rate method here. And, and it's going to include this bargain purchase option here. Now, with each lease here, each lease payment includes three elements here. So number one would be the executory costs or maintenance costs here. And that's going to be represented as an expense here on our amortization schedule. And then we have financing costs or the interest expense on the lease here. And that'll be represented and it's the interest expense here. And then we have a reduction in lease liability here, and that would be our principal amount here that would be, be paid against this lease here. And then the next thing we have to have determined is the minimum lease payment. Now, we have a payment amount shown here is $22,250 per year here, but that isn't the minimum lease payment. This $22,250 includes this executory cost here of $2,000. So we have to subtract that out here. So you take the $22,250 less the $2,000 worth of executory costs or maintenance costs gives us a minimum lease payment of $20,250 here. And that starts, that would be the beginning here of our principal balance here of $20,250 for our minimum lease payment. And then for example here, we're going to have five payments here and they're, they're going to be at the beginning of the year here. Five payments at $22,250 each. And then the bargain purchase option here, that would be at the end of the last year of the lease here, at the end of the fifth year here. And it's going to be for $4,500. The leaser, the uh, will sell or the leasee is going to be able to buy this piece of equipment let's say here for forty five hundred dollars at the end of the fifth year so uh, while we're down here we're going to look at that because it also has an interest component and a principal amount here to it here so uh, we would at the end of the fifth year here we'd have to discount it back to the beginning here of the fifth year here so I just use this present value function here for Excel and I use nine and a half percent here for one year and we discounted that back and determined that its present value is forty one hundred and nine dollars so subtracting that here from the payment amount here of forty five hundred dollars gives us an interest expense here of three hundred and ninety one dollars so the next thing we have to go is we have to calculate this capitalized amount here of the lease and that we have a capitalized amount here at eighty eight thousand dollars here and that's uh, was equal to the present value of the minimum lease payments now what are those lease lease pre payments here well they include the lease payment itself here the twenty two thousand two hundred fifty dollars less the two thousand dollars expense times I use the discount factor here and it comes up with a present value of eighty five thousand one hundred and forty two dollars for those five lease payments here of twenty thousand two hundred and fifty dollars each and then we had the second component is this bargain purchase option here that's forty five hundred dollars discount that back here five years and it's worth twenty eight hundred and fifty eight dollars here so the present value of these uh, minimum lease payments with the bargain purchase option here is eighty eight thousand dollars now let's just go down here and look at how we put that in our calculator here so the minimum lease payment here you got the present value i'm using nine and a half percent five years here you got the twenty thousand two hundred and fifty dollar here um, a minimum lease payment plus the forty five hundred dollar um, bargain purchase option here gives us a present value here of eighty seven thousand nine or eighty eight thousand dollars here now that's that's the case here we, we know the minimum lease payments now we can also determine the payments here by taking this these minimum lease payments and discounting those back to their present value here and knowing that we can determine the payment amount here so uh, discounting those up minimum lease payments back here uh, well I did it down here so I discounted those twenty thousand two hundred and fifty dollar minimum lease bags back for five years at nine and a half percent and their value here is eighty five thousand one hundred and forty dollars now you could put that in your calculator as well so determining the payment amount you just put in a nine and a half percent five years these eighty five thousand one hundred and forty dollar value here for the minimum lease payment gives us a payment amount here of twenty thousand two hundred and forty nine dollars so these are in either you know the payment amount or you know the uh, m uh, minimum lease payment uh, present value here, but they're 
they have to relate to each other. You have to know one or you have to know the other to determine uh, what these minimum lease payment is here, the $88,000. Now, the other thing, I just put this in the calculator here. Rather than using those discount factors, you just take the present value here of the $20,250 minimum lease payments, discount that back as we looked before here, and it's $85,140. Plus, we also have this minimum lease payment here at $4,500. You would have to discount that back here at five years at 9.5%, and that's worth $2,858. So adding those two together, you come up with your present value of your minimum lease here of well, $88,000, what it approximates. Now we have to go in and we have to set up our amortization schedule here, knowing our Minim our capitalized amount here of the lease at $88,000. We know our principal amount here of the minimum lease payments that we start with at $20,250. And that was calculated, the difference here between this payment amount, $22,250 less this expense. This ex executory expense for the year gives us this minimum lease payment here. Now, just take this principal, this beginning principal amount here at $20,250, subtract that from the beginning balance here of $88,000. So we get the next year's beginning balance here of $67,750. Now that's what we base our interest expense on for the year here. We would take the $67,750 times 9.5% and that gives us an interest expense here of $6,436. Subtract that interest expense here. Well, the interest expense plus the principal for the year has to equal this minimum lease payment here. So take the interest expense for the year of $6,436 times 20, or subtract that from $20,250 gives us a principal amount here of $13,814. Now for the next year's, let's just go through it one more year here. The interest expense here, $5,124. That's based on the beginning of the year balance here of $53,936 times uh, 9%. Now the 53,936 here, that was derived from taking this principal amount here of $13,814 and subtracting that from the beginning balance here and for this year here of 67,750 gives us the $53,936. Now that times the 9.5% per, 9 would be the interest expense for the year of $5,124. And subtracting the $5,124 from the principal amount here of $20,250, or the, excuse me, the minimum lease payment here of $20,250 gives us the principal amount for the year here of $15,126. So this interest plus this principal amount here has to equal the uh, principal or the uh, minimum lease payment here of $20,250. So you just continue amortizing uh, your interest and your principal down here in that fashion and then you come down here with a zero balance. Now one last thing we have to deal with here is the annual depreciation and I'm just using the straight line method here. Now when you're working with a bargain purchase option here, uh, the life of the um, uh, life here equals the economic life of the leased asset here. So just looking at our example here, we have $88,000, a capitalized amount. We have to subtract out that uh, min our bargain purchase option here of $4,500. And then the economic life in this case was 10 years, I estimated at that here. And dividing that up amount out here, you get uh, uh, annual depreciation here of $8,350 per year per period. Now let's look at how we record this capital lease with this bargain purchase option here on our balance sheet. And we'll start with the lessee's perspective here. Or that's the company using the equipment here. So we have our amortization schedule here and have it marked out here in numbers for reference purposes here. So uh, first we'd have this payment as number one here that we'd have recorded. And then number two here, this uh, executory costs or the maintenance costs that would be this expense here. And then number three, that was the financing costs or the interest expense here on this lease. And then number four here for this, that would be the reduction here of the lease liability or this principal amount here. So moving over to the assets here, we have the cash here that would be credited 
or reduced here and that would be for those minimum payments lease payments that have to be made plus this executory interest expense or in executory expenses here on the lease here and then we would also have the forty five hundred dollars here for the um, bargain purchase option here and then we would debit or increase our lease for capital equipment here by eighty eight thousand dollars that would be the present value of the uh, minimum lease payments here and then we'd have accumulated depreciation on the lease that we've calculated here so the least asset book value at the end of the lease here would be the eighty eight thousand uh, dollar capitalized lease amount less this forty one thousand seven hundred and fifty dollars here in depreciation so the uh, uh, remaining book value here on that lease is $46,250. So the ownership is transferred to the leasee at the end of the lease and the remaining book value of the lease would be depreciated here, this $46,250. Now let's go up here to our liabilities here. So we have a lease liability. It would, had a credit amount here for $88,000 and then it was reduced by those minimum lease payments for each year here. And then of course we had the uh, bargain purchase option here at the bottom here and then interest payable that was the uh, interest expense for the on the lease here that we have and that would have been recorded here and included here would be the bargain purchase option and then moving over here to our net income or income statement here we have the interest expense that was the financing interest here on the lease that would have been debited or increased here and that includes the bargain bargain purchase option at the bottom here and then the depreciation expense on that capital equipment that would have been debited or recognized here and that was eighty three hundred dollars and fifty $8,350 per year here and that was based on this amount here where you had $88,000 capital amount here minus the bargain purchase option of $4,500 divided by the 10 years here of the life of that uh, economic life here so that gave us $8,350 per period and then we have the ex ex executory costs or those maintenance costs that would have been debited or increased for each year for that amount. Now let's look at how we record this capital lease here in the balance sheet from the lessor's perspective here. Or that would be the company that's selling the equipment here. So we would work off the same amortization schedule that we had that we used for the lessee here. And I've got the same numbering system here where we're going to have the executive cost for maintenance listed here as the expenses, financing costs for the interest expense here, and then the reduction in lease liability here as that principal amount. So let's go back and look at here, our assets here. So first we'd have cash here received and that would be for the payment here the minimum lease payments plus that those executory expenses here on the lease and then we'd also have the uh, uh, bargain purchase option here also for the cat uh, as a debit amount here to cash and also I have this interest receivable here that was the financing interest here on the um, on the lease here so we had of that debited amount here for the interest receivable that's also in the, on the asset side here and then we have the lease receivable here for that lease liability here we would have started out with a debit amount here of eighty eight thousand dollars for the capital uh, lease here to capitalize the amount and then would have been decreased here uh, for each year for the lease liability or the reduction in the lease liability and we also have the bargain purchase option listed here and then when the uh, equipment was leased here we would have had uh, the capital uh, capital equipment account here and would have had a credit or it would have been reduced here for eighty eight thousand dollars and then moving over to our income statement or the net income here we would have received interest revenue here and that was for the financing interest here on this lease here so we would have had that listed for each year here plus the interest for the bargain purchase option